Let me just check the, the stream on our end. Alright. I should already have pop up the window. I might switch off. Ah, dang it. Okay, gotta do it separately. Ah, oh, there we go. Should be okay, right? Then. Yeah, sweet. Okay, I think we are live. Yes, we are live. So, hello everybody, this is CVGS. I'm the captain here and I have Dempster. Hello. And today, this is week two of the, what's the the name again? The Weekly Vega Information Bureau 9 Consecutive Week Special. <laughs> so <Week> mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> mouthful? No, it, it sounds nice in Japanese, I assume, right Dems? Uh, uh, do you know what it is in yeah, Dai百三十三回週刊漫画堂情報情報局あのねあれ九週連続スペシャル Yeah, it sounds so nice in Japanese, but then we translate to English is Weekly Vanguard Information Bureau Nine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think I think that's why more people like more Japanese use Twitter than America uh, than Westerners. Because it's so easy to fit so much crap in in like the character limit, and then, like imagine right, you can you can write a whole grandmother grandfather story in there, and then, uh, and then in 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 English right, all you can say is I ate a dog today, a hot dog today. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, senior dragon, hi! Thank you for joining in. Hi guys, given the shoe value, overdressed G ones are back in five back to five k, and cut laws make it a sequel to GZ. Do you think trigger values for non over triggers will go back to five k? Uh, Kev, do you um, want to address this first before I do? Uh, yes, sir. I believe, right, there is a chance that they might go back to being 5Ks. But mm. considering how the V-Series was, right, there's a much stronger chance that it will remain at 10K triggers. Uh, I think the shielding for the yeah. triggers will remain the same as well with 15s and, and 20s. Because uh, the way I see it, right, when they are going to be designing Overdress, right, they're probably going to be designing with, with V-Series, uh, with the experience of V-Series more so than than before the V series, the premium, uh, basically. So, so I believe that yeah, it's yeah. going. I I believe that there's a good chance for both of them. But I say it's more in more likely to be the tanky triggers. I agree. Yes. Mm, we have to see whether if stand triggers are coming back. That's all. <laughs> yeah, like as of now, there hasn't there hasn't been any news on like what kind of triggers are returning. I mean, definitely the the standards like crit uh critical draw and heal will most yep. likely make a most definitely make a return i'm not sure if uh, front will be still be something that they are experimenting on or like enhancing because previously while front triggers are pretty strong they still come in very few and far between so uh -huh. as of now I i'm not sure whether they'll be introducing a new trigger or returning with stand triggers or whatsoever that one we'll only know uh once it comes in and i like yeah uh, unlikely the absence from the trigger markings on a playmat will the playmat can be an early it, it may be subject to change or so, so we never know. We have to wait for for them to make the announcement, which is what we're here for this program. So. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hi. Thank you for joining in to the stream. They took out stand triggers. Yeah, they did back in V, uh, in the V series and replaced it with the front trigger uh, for two reasons. One is because XL clans are technically not as strong in power as compared to, say, the offensiveness of, not the balanced in offensive and defensiveness of the force clans and the defensiveness of protect clans so um so excel needed something to boost their entire front row because they would just be like making meaningless jabs at you and you won't feel it but um yeah that that's what they did for the front they did that's what they did they replaced the stand triggers with the fronts but i'm not sure whether they'll be returning in this time round because from what i see right nation wise there will not be any um any like you know uh i lost my train of thought <laughs> Uh, there won't be any like categorization as to whether it's gonna be a force a nation, an exile nation, or a protect nation, what have you, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. Neither. So oh one more thing that we gotta point out before the stream starts. So as yes. you know, our third man Leon is actually not here at this moment right now. He's mm -hmm. still on his way back. As we have mentioned previously, he is a busy working adult. So You blind um, him or not, <laughs> Yeah, but but you have you what have you yeah, but... yes. <laughs> you have better hours than he does. So I mean, yeah, not uh, wrong, but still. <laughs> yeah, you have better hours than he does. So, so Leon will join us midstream when once once yep. he's uh once he's returned home, and mm -hmm. so he'll be joining us in the middle of the the live stream as it goes off. Also. Yeah. So he sends his apologies, but he'll be here very soon. Yep. And right. another thing we will need to point out also is that because uh previously when we did the live reaction last week, 
Uh, we actually got a copyright strike from Bushy Road because we streamed the entire stream here. So what we are doing yep. today instead is a watch along. As you can see, there's the, uh, there's the countdown counter at uh, at the bottom of this. Uh, it, this thing is just a screenshot to tell you that what we'll be watching. So um, I believe the link is already in the description below for the actual stream itself. So it yes. will be great if you can watch along with us on the stream and we'll give you as much live commentaries and reactions as we can as we watch the stream together. Absolutely as well. Uh, Creative Boundaries, thank you for joining the stream. Oh no, hey, I thank thought you. DF was streaming at different times. So I'm listening to our videos is open. Him, ah, uh, it's okay. Open. Let your ears be blessed by all of our voices at once. Uh, all the van tubers. <laughs> Uh, let all let your your sensories be overloaded with all of the van tubers. <laughs> uh, so we definitely know that that that, that different fight is definitely going to mm. be on the stream. You'll be probably streaming on his on his side. Uh, yep. So yeah, yeah, it's perfectly okay if you are listening to both of us. We appreciate that that you're listening to both of us, and mm. hopefully we'll be able to to get a good good news week uh, today from the live stream, which is actually almost five minutes from now. Yeah. And also, uh, do let us know whether um, the volume is okay, uh, especially for Cap and Leon's side, so that we can, well, I can adjust the volume accordingly before we start. Mm, do let us know, like if if I'm softer or whether if if Leon is softer. Let us know so that we can balance it out uh, to make sure that we are all audible. Yep. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Bang dreamer, no van. Bang dreamer, no van dreamer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can make a meme out of that. So. <laughs> <laughs> like the the Drake meme, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, the link Joker okay. and get Corey custom meta. Not really. No, not anymore. Actually, the the if uh, I'm not wrong, right? The V series meta was quite um very quite diverse. Different. Mm-hmm. I think it was quite diverse because um, from what I've seen, like there are certain clans that are topping for sure, but the rotation of the clans within the meta seems to be ever changing. Maybe like yeah. maybe maybe until much later where things that exactly got power creep to hell. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Uh, actually, if you follow the the if you follow the boostings right, usually mm. uh, the, the telltale sign of what may be strong right is to look at what is uh, being boosted in the latest set. So if you go from the latest set and go back a little bit, right, you can kind of see like what is defining the the quote unquote meta in the series. Although uh, for a mm. whole year it hasn't been able to be defined because they weren't able to have any sort of tournaments, but you can kind of like see like what's the more popular choices for for strong decks. Or so that's out there yeah. stuff like Shadow Paladin. Uh, I think um, well well Lin Joker might come up there, but that depends on how every other player like like deals with Chaos Breaker Dragon. I mm. believe. Yeah. So yeah, and besides, uh, while they may be strong, right? They're eventually gonna be moot because with this overdress, we're not gonna see any more clans anymore. They all are now gonna. They all now gonna be nations. nations. Yep, nations. Something hey, Jello. Hi, Potato. Thanks for joining in. You're right on time. Well, they kind of said this. Me. It's okay. So I, I mean, excuse me. Woo. Nice dinner I had. Um, it, it's okay. Um, um it, it because we are moving towards a new direction and a new um a new kind of uh, era of Vanguard now for Overdress. Yep. I think it's okay to start a new because I'm pretty sure that what's, whatever is going to happen in Overdress will be very different. In fact, like totally unrelated to what has happened in the past eras. So I think it's a good yes. entry level for everyone. Like literally, we're all going into this as if we've never played Vanguard before. And yes. you see, thank uh, you for joining in. And clans will be like archetype decks. I yes, exactly. Yeah, actually, that would be quite a nice idea. Exactly, no, exactly why I believe the nation system works better because they can mm. actually still kind of give the identity of the clans within that nation while still be able to boost the nation. So say yeah, if yeah. you are a Kagero player, right, then you get Kagero stuff at the start, right? But then other boosts, right, would be like more towards Morokomo, Nobatama, uh, kind of play styles. The greatest mm-hmm. thing about that, right, is not only can, uh, not only are they available to you to add into your deck, but they also like give you the option of, of switching out, like say maybe your ace, for, for something else and if it works with your with the current build of your deck right mm. you have a lot more cards to work with in order to be able to to build your deck so deck building wise right in the overdress era is going to be much much more interesting yes like you can be I taking things we... from oh sorry yeah i hope to see you returning units unfortunately that no. wouldn't be the case because this is uh in in terms of vanguard law this is set three thousand years after the whole gize uh, the whole gize shenanigans so lots of units that do not have immortality, have probably perished by then. 
Yep. So we will definitely get to so, see new units, which brings us, which brings in new opportunities for a lot of different kinds of mechanics and and play styles, which I feel is a welcome change. Can you process uh, Asha getting too old <laughs> and and kind of like, like with her? Yeah, I mean, down with her, yeah. I mean, eventually we're gonna have to see all our favorite people grow old and and perish. So, yeah, that's something no, no, I have. No, like, to... like, put that thought in your head. Like, like you, we've not seen. We've not seen some people like Asha. We've not seen people like Gorja or anybody like that. But just imagine them like just growing old. Good lord, what have you done? Very <laughs> <laughs> old. It's three thousand. Then it's like people oh, are spreading god. the legend of 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 you know the 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 three vanguards that. Oh that hell us no. From, from, from okay. Anyway, days. it started. So I'm gonna start the timer right now. Uh, this yep. this timer is actually doesn't doesn't really do much. It's just there for us to. Like for for people who want to watch the archives to be able to sync the stream together with the with the stream, with comment, yeah. yeah yep. So um, it's it, it's just mainly for that. But watch alongs have time code, so why not? You know. <laughs> and like this was quite a shoddy with... last minute like addition, so I apologize for that. No problem, no problem. No <laughs> so like my childhood's like drifting for me. <laughs> no, no, no. Not really. The Don't thing about, about your childhood that. is that they will always will be there. They can drift, but they will always will be there. Yeah. Returning units, uh, you will see, will only be in V Premium or that somebody is winning Blaster Blade, Blaster Dab, or Descendant of Overlord. Descendant of Overlord is possible. Uh, mm -hmm. Descendants for, for Blaster Blade, Blaster Dab is also all possible, but they won't be those characters. Yeah. Oh, it started. Oh, yeah. uh, they start, they start yeah. with the... They start with the <laughs> Clan Selection Plus. Good commercial. Yep. They have nice. to advertise after all. Yeah. I heard, Vang I heard uh, DF mention the last year's card skill are almost the same. Oh, is it? Um, not aware oh. of that. Daigo! Kitta is me! Tanahashi Hiroshi! Wakara! Wakara Diablo has, has immortality, right? Not to my knowledge, so. But then yeah. I haven't catch up with her law, so I do not think that that's the case. Yeah. Mother Blessa is the one that says it's tricky for two boxing. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. the, the opportunities for a nation to be many different things, right? Really sets the tone for how overdressed season will really be, so. Yeah. Oh, it started. Yep, Doctor O. Doctor O. <laughs> That's a lot of trout. Wait, are those trout eggs? I think so. Okay. And let's know if the the time the the time code actually works because from what I see is like choppy as heck. Uh, let me double check for you. All right. for hey Adam, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure you saw the join by the Game Nation fight regulation. Yeah, that's a very like it's a like I said in the previously it's like it's a very welcome change for this entire Vanguard formula because it's never been done before. Think of it like extreme fight but with nation limitations. Uh, it won't be as chaotic, but yeah. The timer, uh, I think it's ongoing, but it's like start stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like choppy, right? Yeah, but but, but it's going. Yeah, but it's going. Okay, I gotta make a new one next time then. All right, let's hear. The footage isn't showing though. Yeah, because we are not. We actually got copyright strike um last week when we showed the entire stream. So this one is just a watch along. The time code is there for you, uh, for for archivers mainly to to sync our commentary with the stream. But if you want to watch the stream, the link is in the description below. Uh, below. So this whole point of the watch along is for us to. To watch together and and you know discuss about everything. Uh, sorry, sorry. Thank you so much for joining in. Hope to see you again very soon. If not, I can yep. I can share with you on Discord. Oh, yep. clans like oh, it's a oh look at the golden congratulations. Uh, that, yeah, that yeah, Ashley, Ashley marker, that false marker that will be obsolete like very soon. <laughs> no, but it's still a beautiful piece. It is. It is. Yeah, it is beautiful, but. It's kind of a waste that they are like abolishing the entire um, gift, imaginary gift system just in the new it's, era. It's not abolished. It's not really abolished, but it's more of like it's going to stay within its its V series era. I hope so. I, I, I hope so, yeah. Uh, uh, don't feel bad about these cards like not being continued use because they will still see continued use. Believe me. Mm. Uh, as long as the format survives. I hope so, yeah. Definitely. Which definitely will. Mm. Okay, Daikai. So the so the tournament in in Japan. Uh, it will be at the. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Remind twenty Gear Chronicle. I'm be, I'm guessing this is the. This is not the newest one, right? Remind twenty. No, this one is the. This is the the Shinemo best selection. Right? Yeah, the Shinemo arc. Yeah. Vanguard Car Fight Vanguard Shinemo uh Shinemo arc, best selection broadcast. I'm guessing they are like. Yep. Picking out the best episodes or something like, like fillers before Overdress comes in. 
Yep. Premium, on the other hand, seem is going to be a cesspool handle. Oh, we'll I welcome see. the chaos. <laughs> I for <laughs> one welcome our chaotic overlords. <laughs> yeah, we will have to see how how they regulate this in the long run. But for now, yeah, it's going to be very chaotic. But, but it is to be expected because it was the same with V series. Mm. Uh, oh, and by the way, for well. yeah, by the way, for Ibuki fans, um, there will be a birthday campaign for Card Fight Vanguard. If you buy 2,200 yen and above worth of Vanguard merchandise, you get a postcard as a present. For only from 31st of January to 6th of February at Graph Art Shop in Shibuya, Namba, and Nagoya. I hear Overlord. <laughs> we have summoned the dragon. <laughs> yeah. I see, I see. Interesting. Okay, Vanguard Zero News. Uh, New boosters coming in very soon with yep. Ashley Reverse. I'm getting, I'm getting it's Don Donless Dominic. Right? Yeah, Minerva, um, Azel Caesars. Oh, Grand Azel Caesars. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Uh, who was it that, 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 it's a Narukami card. I forgot what it's Oh, Ignition Drive. Ignition Drive. Uh, yeah. Ignition Dragon. And Ignition Dragon, yes. And the last one, I can't remember who that was. Yep. Oh, Better. new card. Yeah. yeah, this is baby. New card for Vanguard Zero. Yep, this is the card reviews for for. Yeah. Uh, uh when your game. blaster blade liberator appears on the rearguard circle. Oh uh, no! Uh, when you when your blaster blade liberator appears, then if you have a liberator vanguard, then you plus something. They are moving too fast. Yep. If a blaster blade liberator in the same column appears in the same column as this unit, Bayran, Bayran is it? Uh, then yep. if your vanguard is a liberator, counter charge one. Yep. Oh. Which is similar to their original cards also, but then yeah, again, uh, a lot of the, yeah, a lot of the, the cards are largely similar. Yeah, here initial dragon. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah you did. <laughs> they were talking about we were talking about like the the Vanguard Zero releases in the upcoming sets. Yep. So initial dragon mm -hmm. is one of them. I remember the card because that was the first card I saw you ride up to, in our very f in your first debut fight. <laughs> mm. I missed that card actually. Yeah, it's like, an interesting card. I remember it was awesome, it was awesome back in the day. It was. It was. Oh, Zenith. Ah, Gunslaw Zenith. Zenith. Liberate Break 4, when your Vanguard attacks by counter blasting one and sending one rearguard to the bottom of the deck, you can activate this effect. Then you uh you call the top card from your deck to rearguard circle. During that turn, that unit's power gets plus 10k. Rearguard circle, mm -hmm. if you, uh, when it appears on the deck, by sending this unit to the bottom of the deck, you may activate the effect. Search your deck for Blaster Blade Liberator and call it. Then, if you have no Blaster Blade Liberator, you can call from the drop zone. Whoa, and it's a cross right from Gunslot. Uh, cross right? Oh yeah, right. The 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 the, the, the break cross right. break. Yeah. The yeah, yeah correct. The the break. Right. Gunslot Liberator, I think. Yeah. yeah, that was a good card. That the the make up with GBD. Yeah. Yeah. But then GBD. Call it Buster. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Triple critical, just like that. Ooh, not fun. Back then it was hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> Back it was. then it was hard to. Do. Three counter blast trees are more right. Plus the, wow, can't understand it. But yeah, Gunslot Xenia is a lot stronger now. You can even call blast liberator from your from your drop zone. What the hell? Yep. Wow, they they, they really. Wait, was that in the original one? No, right? No, 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 no. You couldn't call blast away from drop zone. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Vanguard oh, oh, Zero oh. Championship Twenty Twenty. These are play mats. Uh, it's a play mat and it's also uh, uh, um, a, spe a special triple rare. You know, PR card uh, for yeah, Chaos yeah. Breaker Dragon. Yep. Oh, that is beautiful. But of course, no no effects lah. It's just for show. Yep. <laughs> but it's still damn nice. Eh? Oh, it might have effects, but we don't know. So. From the looks of it, but probably not. Because it looks yeah. like what you see is probably what we'll get. Then again, yeah. we won't get it because we're not in Japan. <laughs> That is true, yeah. uh, but it, uh, but at least we hope that the artist itself might put up this art for yeah, yeah. Isla to put up the full art online. Because yeah. that is actually a very nice art for, for Chaos Breaker Dragon. Mm. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Uh, 10th anniversary the, tra the treasure campaign. 10th anniversary uh. golden sleeves. Uh, exchange will start at... Was TCG station exchange will begin on the 29th of January. Uh, and on the webs as well. Then from February onwards, it will only be online. Ah. So if we want to, we can actually do that, but that will depend. That will still cost us money, actually. Yeah. 
We still gotta import it in as well. So. Yeah. Very likely they will require a Japanese address, so we need Tenso. That costs money. Eh. So I like how the music is now fitting with viewers. Although you guys Sounds probably so are hearing the music and watching along. Because it seems very good. Sri right Lux Clan. Oh, what is this? 500 yen at an official Card Fight Vanguard shop? Eh, no, Card Fight Vanguard shop. Oh, okay, okay. By buying 500 yen worth, I think, of Vanguard yeah, merchandise, you get one you pack as a present. And the clans included will be Oracle Think Tank, Angel, Angel Feather, Shadow Paladin, Nuatama, Pale Moon, and Neon Nectar. This one will begin on the 13th of February onwards, uh, until mm. all stops last. So the PR cards will be um, the Gold, what? Cobalt Witch, Boo Boo. Or Poo Poo? I don't know. <laughs> Boo Boo, probably. Angel Feather is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, they're just showing the cards. I'm too slow. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cure basket, cure basket angel, and for your nectar is maiden of uh iridite. What? Iridite. Yeah. Iridite. Yeah. They come out really interesting names for these, but other effects good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, for the witch, great one call uh, when great one appears. I think no, we write on the great one. Discarding one card, then you get one imaginary pro force. Uh, imaginary imaginary gift protect. Then when attacking by discarding one sentinel, oh wait, discarding one or more is it? Oh, one or more as uh sentinels from your hand, or as, as many as you like. By doing that, then for each sentinel you discard it during that battle, this only gets plus five k. Okay. Yeah, angel feather when ridden, uh, when when appears by discarding one card, draw one. Okay, during your opponent's attack, uh, at the start of the opponent's battle phase, by sending this card to your soul from the rearguard circle, then. Uh, choose two of your grade one or higher regards during the turn. They get, they get plus, they get intercept, and they can intercept from the back row. Mm. For new nectar, um, wow, I can't really see it properly. Hold on, let me check. Uh, okay. Uh, all, all units in the same column as this unit. Oh, oh token units in the same be column cannot be affected. Yeah. yeah. Then rear guards are go at once, but uh, counter blast one and resting this unit. Then you call up to two plant tokens to the rear guard circle. And if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or higher during that turn, those plant tokens get plus ten k. Oh no, your vanguard plus your vanguard gets plus ten k. Yeah, that's mm. still pretty good. Eh? That's pretty good, also. especially since Maiden, I think, play more to token than more so than any other uh, sub build in your next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's quite underutilized compared to things like Musketeers, or Asha, Bloom for the matter. Uh, yeah, oh, Maiden of seems like. Oh. Speaking of Bloom, what are the chances that we will see, we will see the return of keywords? Uh, maybe not that soon. Maybe not I that feel that's not this soon, yeah. Uh, uh, but I like to think like, oh, like, like, like one or two units. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to think that one or two units uh, mm. that they, they, they put on there, then they actually has the keyword. <laughs> please don't, please don't, don't do that though. <laughs> please don't do that. I, I want it to have this effect, and this effect is actually the, 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 the old keyword, so we just give it the keyword. I guess so, yeah. I think they were talking about, about Asha, I think. The, but the possibilities of using this with Asha. Uh, yes, the possibility of using this Asha is actually quite strong. My heart especially since, uh, <laughs> <laughs> especially since all like like token units, this one actually, this unit actually can protect uh, Asha style token. Yeah, yeah. But most of you, you need them on the field to use your effects anyway. Yep. So yeah, that that's a good defense. Yeah, this is very good. It, it, it adds on to the, the flower token. Yeah. But in the middle of that, also, this can go far. Mm -hmm. Oh, they really delving deep into the. the oh, the this oh, this one helps with the the Asha fairy tokens also. Use a Vanguard plus 10k, then when your fairy token attacks, it gets that plus 10k also. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. I don't okay. know what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, they are saying that now. Because <laughs> <Yep. laughs> it doesn't. Because it just says token. It doesn't specifically say like like flower uh, plant tokens or, or flower tokens. It just says token. Yeah. <laughs> so it is being very helpful for Asha. Mm -hmm. Damn. Uh, but you did spend quite a bit of time talking about the new nectar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Doctor personally likes new nectar. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> also, one thing about Dr. O, that, that thing on his shoulder, right? Uh. I always keep seeing it as like a cell phone. It's like a phone. <laughs> you mean like the... What's his name again? LaBelle, is it? In... In... Uh, what is that? Not, not in so... Ace but... Attorney. <laughs> Uh, oh, one. that so SP pack looks pretty dope. Pretty oh, the SP is not SP pack. Those SPs look yeah, dope. Who? <gasps> nice. Nice. Gastil. Nice. Oh, Time Reaper Dragon. Uh -huh. Shirayuki. Shirayuki. And Beatrice. Yep. Gigano Blazer. Mm -hmm. And Maiden of Stand Peony. Uh, yep, Stand Peony. Venom something. Hiya! Time is to stop. It, it, it start and stop. It, it start and stop. Wait, that is The time is still ongoing. Yeah, the time is still ongoing. Yeah. yeah, it's going going. It's just very choppy. We'll make a new one next time. If there's ever uh, such a chance. Well, so. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, Chrono Jetto okay. Dragon with the original um original art. The one that we all know and hate. I mean, love. <laughs> they are definitely responsible for the time stop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the sleeves and oh, what? Just these three only. I thought they were gonna give more. They might give more. Like I think this is the one they currently have. But I, I'm kind of surprised they give red for red borders for Beatrice. Mm -hmm. Those ears are so good. Beautiful. What else is there, Doctor O? Show us. What's he opening? The pack? Yeah. Yeah, it's only a pack. Imagine him getting an SVR here. <laughs> nah, I doubt oh, it. Because it's like stopped at 1 minute 25 seconds for me. Oh, it's still ongoing. So. Yeah, it's, it's still going. It probably like... Wait, takes some time to load they, the thing. Oh, wait, are they all triple R's? Oh! <laughs> the whole pack is full of triple R's. Oh. It's, it's a rig pack. Of course lah. You don't want him to open oh. nothing but a bunch of commons, right? Wait, hold oh. on. No, this is the clan selection, actually. Clan selection, everything is... is it's foil, yeah. but... Yeah, everything has to fall. So. Uh. And it's nice that there's seven of them in there. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shiny, yeah. <laughs> Super Very shiny. shiny. Super. Hell, this is also a, a, a good place to actually get additional, like, like drop PGs. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's like, basically a sand... Uh, it's basically a heartfelt send-off to the AVs, the Viera. <laughs> <laughs> you could say so, yeah. Mm. Like finally, they gave things that are that are important, although it's like ten years too late, but still. Yep. Oh. But it's okay. It's okay. Overdress. Even there's gonna be partial force for all, even the commons and right. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be false advertisement if that was the case. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? Uh, uh, we can't see the actual stream. I don't know if that's purposeful. That's purposeful because yeah. we got a copyright strike for showing the stream. You mm -hmm. can watch along with the link in the description box below so they yep. can actually watch along and hear our commentary at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's about the clean selection plus. Important about phasing out. I know, right? Clan selection no deck of Shokai again. So if I'm not wrong, oh, you can participate in your recommended deck um, by posting it on Twitter. So you can take a picture, post it up on Twitter, and I think there's a there's a hashtag uh, by it's in Japanese, Vanguard Deki Shokai. Yeah, so you can. I think uh, they're 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 talking about the clan selection plus um, cards included in whatever recommended deck. So you can do that. So you buy the packs and then you put it in your deck, then you take a picture of it, put it up, put the hashtag in, and they might just introduce your deck, who knows. Mm -hmm. So the clans will be included in this clan selection plus is Angel Feather, Shadow Paladin, Go Paladin, Tachikaze, Murakumo, Narukami, Link Joker, Dark Irregulars, Gear Chronicle, Clam, Grand Blue, Mag Colony, and Gineo Nectar. Mm. Coming very soon in just three days time. On Friday. Yep. This Friday, this week. Mm. Alright, the next card they're introducing, we've already seen this before, but this is the Beast Deity Rift Taurus. Wow. At the start of the main phase, you may stand one of your Beast Deity rear guards. Uh, units. Mm. Wait, units? Wait, hold on. You oh, units, but your Vanguard will be standing by then anyway. Do you guys think yeah. you start streaming such th things on Twitch? We gotta open the door. Go back to the meeting room. We need to discuss this. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we probably might consider doing more of these streams on Twitch as well. So that we can, we can. can uh, 
Oh, we can, we can. Yeah, it's we can. Just, it will take some time for us to set, yeah. set up our world. Mm -hmm. When your Vanguard's attack hits, oh, when your attack hits, oh, when your Vanguard's attack hits, uh, look at the top five of your deck, then uh, add up to one grade three beast deity to your hand, shuffle your hand. If you add one and you and this unit, I think, is it? Yeah, we're going to Rekka Circle. Yeah. Okay, this is Typhoon Bird. It was just announced today, actually. Mm. Yeah, when you have a uh, Vanguard with uh, with Beast 80 in his name by counter blasting one, look at the top five of your decks and call up to one, uh, one Beast 80 to the rearguard circle. Not with uh, there's not grade two to the rearguard circle at rest and shuffle your deck. For triple R, I think it's okay because once a turn you do get to reinforce without using too much of your hand. So you save your hand size for guarding. I think it's Correct. pretty okay. <laughs> like I'm listening to them, it's for the fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so we're opening to the floor right now. Do you guys want to see us um, stream this on Twitch so we can all like have live commentary, uh, live commentary as well as watch it together? Let us know, let us know. All right, Beast AT, Ethics Buster, the big boy is out. This, uh, hold on, the skill. When play store, right? When place or ridden, uh, yeah, when place or ridden, then the, by discarding two cards from your hand, then stand one of your units with Beast Daddy in his name, then uh, that unit attacks the Vanguard. At the end of the battle, if the attack did not hit, stand that unit, and if it hits, this unit, uh, this unit, uh, that unit's drive minus one. That means you can attack with re re Vanguard. What the hell? Yep. Wow. You can ride with Vanguard twice. Also. Okay. Uh, when your when your unit will be steady his name attacks by counter blasting one during that turn that unit gets plus five k. Oh, wow! This 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 card is actually a lot better than the previous ethics buster. Even better than extreme. Way better. Yep. I think this is more in homage to to extreme actually, because ethics yeah. buster was the, the was the big right after all, and it mm -hmm. wasn't as as good. Yeah, <laughs> if Twitch allows the yeah, yeah. With Twitch allows the actual stream to be shown, that'll be super useful for people who work in PCs. Then just and then just want to check on the news on one screen and one stream. Yeah, I agree. If we can do that, we definitely will. Then it will save us a bit. Like we can do simultaneous streams, but it will be helpful also that we have another platform to stream on. So like if anything happens on Twitch or on YouTube, then we can always have another one to fall back on. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> wow, the rulings the rulings for all these cards will be like Yeah. Oh, That's why I know is that DF does it on Twitch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He 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 streams more on Twitch because uh I think it's more liberal in terms of what content you want to put out. Whereas YouTube is quite stringent on copyrights. Because pretty much any top deck heavy can be just clean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, ah, I think so I know why. Copyright. I think I know why we got a copyright strike because we put up the video, we put up the stream. I think. Yeah, that's and then yeah, we established that when we got a copyright strike. That's that's that's. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was thinking of something else. Any yeah, problems because I need. Yeah, any problems because I need to be on com. CDs and alive. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys aren't supposed to see that. <laughs> oh, when you miss the attacks, got plus one, then for the turn that you need to get plus 5k, yeah. yeah. It's really annoying enough to have more jabs. Imagine those jabs suddenly become punches. I think that was the point of Extreme Buster. <laughs> uh, extreme, uh, Ethics Buster, yeah. Or Beast DT in general. Yeah, they're meant, to, they're meant to just jab for the heck of it. Yep. But for now to be even stronger than a jab, that says a lot. Power creep. Power creep. Oh, ben will be happy for sure. Yeah. He's our resident Ethics Buster. Yeah, he just needs to. We, he just needs for the news to get to him slowly. You know, we must we must make sure the news never gets to him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he already has. No, no, he already has. No, we we need the news to 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 get to him. It will get to him eventually, but it will come very slow. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I guess it's a demonstration of the the beast deity deck. Yeah, the beast deity deck against Narukami. Raido Eshikazu Bashita. Imagine you give Axel. 
Mm-hmm. Of course, except two. <laughs> <laughs> it's a given already. Like, no, very little EXO clans now use X, uh, EXO 1. I mean, in situations where it favors you more, then I'll use EXO 1. Yeah, in fact, premium right, actually, for, yeah. for my heavy for my heavy deck, right? Mm. Uh, my, my big heavy deck, I'm actually tempted to play Force War, uh, not Force War, EXO 1. Because my hand size is actually pretty okay. Yeah. Uh, the premium so application to this is scary, especially over trigger. Yeah, <laughs> like, like we said. It will be very chaotic, but fun. Yeah, it will be chaotic, but it will be a chaotic fun. So do not stress, do not stress over the the negatives. Like embrace the positives. Yeah, heal trigger. Embrace the positives. Thank you, the Vanguard. Okay. Hey, that's our counter. No. Yes. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Counters are red. <laughs> so the attack hits, then blah. Wait, he didn't choose to stand, right? Eh? Oh no, hmm? because the the attack hit. No, it hit or not, it still stands, right? From what we understood from the skill just now. Oh, we gotta go back and read the thing again. So guys, <laughs> something. Okay. Yeah, that was what I remember for sure. Yeah, let me see if I can pull it up again. All right. You need to stand Oh. Huh. <laughs> All the card releases are known, yeah. Of course. <laughs> Probably have to go to Twitter to find it. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Alright, uh, when place the road upon, mm -hmm. uh, discard two cards with your hands, then one of your units with PC18 in his name. And attack your opponent's bank up with that unit. At the end of the battle, that, that unit. At the end of the battle, if the attack did not hit, send this unit. And if the attack hit, this unit gets one, plus one drive. Mm. So the attack hit. So it does not stand. It only stands if the attack did not hit. Oh, okay, okay. So essentially, it's a early attack last so with the Vanguard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of like, uh, instead of rear guards only with Illuminal Dragon, now Ethics Buster alone can hit a second time. Correct. Oh, the music is very weird. So you you have this foreboding presence from uh, Ethics Buster. You hear his like very peaceful piano music. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to imagine, man. Uh -huh. It's good to know that the that the English cover Vega you uh Twitter is actually like on point. Hmm? That's where I read the skill for ethics. Oh, the, oh, they're catching up also, la. like they've, they really caught up with the English translation, the Japanese ones also. Yeah, when the Japanese card is released immediately, like this this is like five minutes ago. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I think they're like, they up I think, I think, I think they, they planned this, like they pre probably scheduled this or something. No, I, I'm praising that because they are on point. They are, yeah. they are, they are really on the ball, so, and I appreciate it a lot. Mm -hmm. Playing card games at a fancy cafe ambience. <laughs> Actually, that's what we plan to do. We we really enjoy doing that kind of thing, like having such a such an epic war, epic fight, while peaceful play, peaceful music playing in the background. Yeah, peaceful music playing in the background, but then all you hear is screaming. And <laughs> yeah, where did you call White Hang over there? That was White Hang, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Just need to make sure. White Hang can 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 reset itself. Mm. Oh. Oh yeah, when he attacks, then this card too. Yep. Okay. Oh, but the hand dropping is very, very fast. Way too fast. This one you cannot afford to play to play uh X or one. Yeah. You lose cards very fast. Yep. Wait, did we miss how how at least was the restart? Yeah, I think we I think we did. Yeah, I think we missed it. So. <laughs> okay, let me let me check. CF, card five Vanguard. 
はい、よろしくお願いいたします。はい、改めて商品情報見ましょうかね、どうぞ。Hmm. Oh, plant selection volume two. Then contains. There's one on the left again. Dollar's Drive? Yeah, there's Dollar's Drive, Ashley, and.、Uh, I think that was Nobutama. Yeah, I can't remember what though. Uh, Clans yeah, included will have Roy Paladin, Oracle Think Tank, Genesis, Kangaroo, Nobatama, Nova Grappler, Dimension Police, Spike Brothers, Pale Moon, Bermuda Triangle, for once, Aqua Force, and Great Nature. Basically, the remaining clans. <laughs> Basically, the remaining clans. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then we're going to overdress right after that, so. Yeah. Ah, okay, I see. Hi, Mori san. Hey, Mori. Hey, Mori. Oh, he was also at the, the English、uh, live stream. Yeah, he was. He was. Then he was speaking English. <laughs> yeah, the pop up live stream is in English as well. Then he showed up, gave a message, and then he, he just had to leave. <laughs> he just left. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 ね、hey, yeah, I gotta hand it to the production assistants of... <laughs> <laughs> for being on the ball with the screen and everything, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they're kind of used to it because they do this every single week. Yeah, they do this every single week. So, but but like, it, it's a small thing, but it's something that you can deeply appreciate. Yeah.、Uh, but I think they're 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 speaking about the the supply of the of the the upcoming boots. Yeah, it doesn't have the Mori. No. The bad no good detective. <laughs> detective. <laughs> which one? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Which 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 detective are you talking about, Andrew? Alright, shop information and and the start decks. More information about the the start decks that we get. Ah, okay. So in animate, yeah, animates all over the country and Sega will have this campaign. Twenty sixth February to twenty first March next month. Oh, Detective Conan's Mori. I see.、Uh, okay. So the shops there will be is I'm guessing that Sendai Akihabara Number Five Building, Sega Arcade Square, Sasashima,、um, Sega Co Sega Collabo Cafe. Uh huh. Uh. It's too fast. <laughs> Got a new order card. Can't fight. <laughs> oh, it's a quick shield. Sorry. Can't fight ten minutes with quick shield. Actually, actually, that's not bad of a quick shield. It's nice, right? Very very nice actually. Yeah. And then we have the <laughs> we have the <laughs> Majesty Lord the, Blaster playmat. I think you know if Jirai was 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 really, I, I don't remember him being that into Majesty Lord Blaster,、mm -hmm. but I think he sees that playmat, he might kill for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, we were just talking about the playmat. Yeah, playmat looks dope. Indeed. めっちゃ欲しい。But it says it's a random, so. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of random. Yep. So it's RNG on top of RNG. It's to filter out those who have insane new gula. I think you're here. We get it. <laughs> Knowing him. <laughs> Well, so it's on for Vanguard Day, so yeah, Vanguard Day. Which is what every twenty six? Oh no, uh, uh, February twenty six. Yeah, first one. So. Every twenty six. Gusu gets. Gusu gets. What does it mean? Time for Guru Sensei to help me. <laughs> I think it's, it's like every month. Uh, let's see. 
or maybe every or other month. even yeah. months every even month yeah so Jan February April June August uh, October and December uh, so it's uh, every four months or? every four months uh, interesting if they do manage to keep this on like for at least two years uh, if we ever get to Japan on an uh, even month we might actually get our hands on this also. who knows might be able to. yeah but that's probably not gonna be this year considering of course not lah if it is, I think uh, everyone will be swarming with you. Oh! Oh! I don't care what anyone says, man. I don't care even my favorite color is blue. I'm going for the Tomari one. <laughs> I want that Tomari sleeve. Wow. Hey, this actually looks weird. Some of them look weird. I think only the, the red one looks, looks, looks the best. Yeah, Danji's one looks like it's... Uh... It looks like those kind of <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a kick. Yeah. Megumi's one looks nice. Zaksa one is actually not bad. Masanori one is standard, Tomari one. Uh, no need to say it. it's it's the best. <laughs> Toya's one is very nice. Uh you use one is you use one is standard. Uh, yeah, Aqua Force. And Venga Overdress. This is promo campaign campaign, yes. Special promo packs. Uh, so I think if you buy four packs, then you get one of these. Yep. Unfortunately, this will not be in box toppers. So if you want to get this, it has to be some. I, I'm not sure if Singapore or any other country for that matter will be having this kind of campaign or something similar. But that would. We won't be able to get this the normal way. Chances are it will be tied to tournaments. So if you take part in short tournaments, then this is the, the participation. Ah. Uh. Most likely, yeah. Uh, assuming there are, uh, assuming there are short tournaments, considering what's going on right yeah. now. There, there are there are some places that still hold short tournaments, oh, and even it? even so, right? Uh, there are those that can hold remote ones as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's the remote ones, uh. Uh, Correct. Another campaign for for boosters at once. Hmm. So you get the over trigger, uh, the promo, promo over trigger, card. the postcard, uh, the postcard as well. 333 lucky lucky winners will win the the limited campaign original rubber play mat with Yu Yu oh. and the question mark question mark question mark and the Victor Dragon so. <laughs> yeah, you're calling you're calling it Victor Dragon until he gets his real name we we'll probably will refer to it as Victor Dragon yeah, I, I think that's easier to say than question mark question mark question mark so yeah, okay. yeah it's easier to say the question mark question mark I write to question mark question mark question mark <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just suddenly goes on Nick Young. <laughs> oh, even that's the name. I write. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what card is that? I don't know. It's. Huh? What card is that? Huh? No, you don't know. Too. No, no, that's the name. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Uh, but yeah, like, we'll probably have we'll, until his name is revealed. We'll probably will we'll, we'll probably refer to it as Victor Dragon now. Bro. All right, Victor Dragon sounds okay. <laughs> yep. Unknown DE sounds nicer. Unknown DE. DE Dragon Empire. Dragon Empire probably, but but you know a, a, a lot of people, a lot of fans are in the in the early days of its like the art review, right? They did call it Victor Dragon because mm. it looks like it looks very much like Victor. Between, uh, it looks a little like Victor. Mm. This is the PR card introduction. We've got the uh, over trigger, which you already mentioned, and Trickster, yep. the 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 promo and Trickster. trickster. Uh huh. With the <laughs> information on the YouTube channel <laughs> and even the Amazon Prime video as well. Yeah, Tram Amazon Prime, Unix, then Animate Store, Anime Store yep. or something. The Anime Store, I think. The yeah. Anime Store, yeah. <laughs> Course, and you can use it in official tournaments, eh? starting from 25th March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but 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 staying so like they, they are keeping it. It is the first Vanguard, so they're keeping his skill. There. Yeah. Also, I just realized the 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 this card actually is a great. It has spike issue. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I don't know what I mean. Usually, usually five K means you know usually great zeros have like ten K. Ten K. So Amazon uh, Prime, yes, we did. Yeah, uh, because uh, there will be Amazon the... Prime Video actually, they are broadcasting there too. In fact, you can you can go there and get the the previous uh, seasons of Vanguard there actually, including mm. the stage play. Yeah. 
Oh, this is the, the deck list for, for Yu Yu's start deck. Oh, okay. Wait, Yu Yu? Oh, is that the name? Oh, no. I don't know. That's not from the Rubo set. Yeah, Yu Yu, sorry. Ah, okay. Nirvana. Yeah, Nirvana, Rei Yu. I'm guessing that's the. the f I'm not sure whether that is, but. That is great too, also. I yeah. Think that is great. Nori, um, Sunrise Egg. <laughs> Sunrise Egg. <laughs> that's the starter, for sure. Ah, that's the starter. Yeah, yeah. Infernal Sword, uh, Verena, Ankibola, Hayashikaze, Trickster. Wait, four? Four Tricksters? Huh? Yep. Wait. Oh, there was a sunrise. Eight is, right is, is to be yeah in the right deck. Ah, okay, okay. I see. Right. Yep. Right. Or oh, at least the the first Vanguard. Then you can use Trickster as a as a as a emergency emergency shield. Yeah. Or depending on the skill. Oh, Varia, so Varia, Sunrise, Chokusha, Chokusha, yeah. <laughs> Nico, Rona, and Sambus Evolution, which is all the. Sunburst Evolution. The... I'm talking about the uh, order, the, the very order last card. Oh. Sunburst Evolution. Oh, so all the cards are actually coming back. Yep. Sunrise the Egg, Sun Dragons. Yeah, oh god, no. Andrew, don't remind us of the body fight era. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> same, same company, same company. Same company, yes. Uh, wait, what's the star? Oh, critical. The star is the critical. I yeah. <laughs> over trigger, front trigger. Uh, okay, over guess front triggers will be making a return. Ah, one cent oh, four sentinels will be, will be for all nations. Uh? uh, yeah, they have to because every single nation at least has at least one extra claim, so that kind of yeah. makes sense. Okay, like, I think so it's becoming more like a general thing rather than just yeah, for yeah. Axel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. Ah, there we go. Persona ah. right. So when your Vanguard, ah. when your Vanguard has a Persona right icon, oh, which is the, which is what that is about. Uh, onaji namayo unit to nirai do stara. When you write a same unit, you can draw one. Then during that turn, all your units in the front row get plus ten k. Wow. Wow. That, that, that's like an advanced break right, right there. Persona right. Not just not just an advanced break right. It's a front trigger. <laughs> it's a front trigger right. Yeah. It's oh the, 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 yeah. Am I reading wrong or twenty triggers? Uh. No, there are uh, also four no, triggers. Be I, I believe the four extra ones we are seeing was you're you're seeing is probably trickster, which is just a great zero with emergency shield, I think. Or it probably right. has some effects, but we're not too sure what it is yet. Hmm. But yeah, Persona uh, Ride. Right. Interesting. So it's really interesting. Right. Uh, so Persona Ride right, uh, is... If you, if you ride over the same unit, draw one and all the units in front will get plus 10k. Mm. That's pretty big actually. But that also means that you can't get wiped. <laughs> you what? <laughs> you can't get wiped. Because otherwise that... that, that <laughs> the Persona Blast will be not Persona Blast. That's Persona Ride will be redundant. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. But do you think all the start decks would have would have Persona Right? Most likely, most likely. I'm not sure whether it will be a generic skill or part of the mechanic, or it's just specific to Dragon and Buyer. But we'll see. Oh, uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. We're seeing the demonstration right yes. now. So. <laughs> it's all just to see half the man, and the rest is like I don't know if I'm actually watching a profile picture. I know. So. <laughs> so when you Persona, right? Draw one. All your one units draw. in front row black plus ten k. What did I mean? It's because I can't can't see the live itself. Okay, um, they actually introduced the the persona right system. So you when you write onto a new unit, oh no, when you write onto the same unit, exactly the same, you draw one and all your units in front row plus ten k. Oh oh! Throughout the turn. Throughout the turn. Oh. Oh, so it's kind of like a passive skill that all units in the front gets plus 10k. Ah. So it's it's not the units that get this for 10k. It's within the skill of the of the of the persona right. During that turn. Yes, it's within the skill of the persona right. So the units themselves Ooh. don't get it. It's it's the vanguard that gets it. Oh, that's big. It's the vanguard that gives it to all of them. That's 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 the biggest thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it. Mm. So it's not a one-off thing. No, no, it's not one of it, and you don't, you don't have to have the unit there. Wow, hey, eh, eh, Aqua Forces that... will be scary as hell now, yeah. On premium. Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> it's all coming together now. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Uh, so be vacation passive skill also. 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mm, pretty much, pretty much. So, so it's, like riding, but not riding. it's brake riding with front trigger. It's brake riding uh, the plus variant. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I got the plus variant, yeah. But that's quite big actually, just the fact that, yeah. that the tanky is not wasted on empty circle. Uh -huh. uh, that's pretty big. Exactly, it's huge. Holy shit. It's big riding. Aqua Force plus toy, <laughs> yeah, Aqua Force plus toy care will be lethal. Oh, Can you imagine don't, don't already? Don't count out some of the other ones like Neonectar as well, Mega Colony even as well. Ah. Can you imagine your opponent has to, whenever he triggers, you get the, the trigger, he steals your trigger instead? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, imagine that plus. No, plus we imagine own. Asha with this. Oh wait, you can't. Exactly. Oh well. <laughs> you can't. Because Asha needs to be Vanguard. Oh well, never mind then. Forget what I said. <laughs> well, anything for that matter, so. Alright. Yeah. Uh, Q&A for the Persona, right? Yep, so when you ride a grade 2 to grade 3 during that turn, uh, Nope. Yep, you can only ride one Persona per turn, so it will only be one ride per turn. Yeah, so when you ride uh, Persona ride, no, it will be grade 2 to grade 3 on the next turn. So you can only Persona ride on the, on the turn after the turn that you ride from grade 2 to grade 3. And when after you Persona ride, you call the unit to the front row, uh, call the rearguard to the front row, uh, will that will that uh, will that rear guard get plus 10k? Yes, it will. <laughs> yeah, plus <laughs> salimas ka? Hi, salimas. Tef takaras. Jokses grade san ride tsugi no tan. Grade san suru toki wa you can't. Okay. Uh, okay. So if you ride another unit that does that is not the same unit as that, even though it has the marker, you won't be able to get the ability because you have to ride over with the same unit. Uh no, he is actually talking about when you ride on the turn when you ride to grade three, can you do a can you do a ride from uh, can you do a persona ride from your right deck? You can't. Because when you're riding right, you can only when riding from right deck, right, it must be a grade higher than your current Vanguard. Uh, so you can't Wait, do that on. from the right deck. Even the Vanguard on the grade of plus yeah. So you can only write to write up. You cannot persona write. So you can't do that from the right deck. So, so it eliminates the, the it eliminates the whole like like rewriting from the from the right deck. Well. Yeah, and it also kind of makes sense because that one is only meant for you. It, it's meant for the sole purpose of misgrading to to avoid misread misgrading. Well. Yeah, if they make persona writing a thing and they say you can write, then we kill things as hell already. Uh, wait till they they print an overdose. Yeah, we probably will see that. With <laughs> yeah, some ways most likely, <laughs> most likely somewhere somehow. <laughs> Again, but it's also worth pointing out, so I think with the persona with, with the persona right marker right, mm. you probably should be riding the same unit. So I think yeah. right another unit that also has the persona right marker, but it's not the same unit, I don't think it should rock. I don't think it would rock. Yeah, but yeah, we will need more confirmation, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, might as well use up the right deck as instead of efficiency. Yeah, that's kind of the point, but it's there to supplement, but it's not there to replace. Yeah. I think the right deck is there for to supplement your games. It's not meant to replace the right system. Yep. Because you, you it, 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 Leon has eloquently pointed out. So sometimes, right, the the cards in your right deck, right, may not be the ideal right exact card that you want to write up to mm. for the situation. Sometimes you want something else which you might have in your head. That persona right from there now. No, you can't persona right from the right deck because, as we mentioned before, you can only use the right deck to write up a grid higher. They persona right from hand. Oh, okay, okay, from hand. Uh. You can, yeah, but you can at the same time, you will need to discard one card from your hand anyway, so you might as well write up to something that you need to, rather than forcing yourself to write just from your right deck. Correct. I said, la, it's supplementary, it's not supposed to replace this. Yeah. Ah, so Persona Right is pretty much standard throughout the entire crew. All nations will have the Persona Right mechanic. Okay. So I guess we can expect the, the Persona Right on all the start decks. 
ま、ずほんとにドクターの言って通りの尺で大体進行してびっくりしてるんですけど、すごいなと思って。はい。さすがに3回超えてるんで、はい、そうです。いや、でも、その、コメントいただきましたけど、おかげさまで3回も同じ
uh, especially with the risk of Trickster being being the card it is or so. So you mm. in the right deck, right, you need to have zero, one, two, three. You must have a zero, one, two, three. So including that as part of the start deck, right, having the great zero in there, I think would be really, really, really uh, good. And it kind of shows that maybe great zeros will have a place, like non-trigger great zeros will have a place in it. Yeah. Uh, Most which might be good is. also. Uh, mm -hmm. And it will not be advisable. Uh, one units that you roll from the right deck, right? If you soul blast or whatever, it goes to the right. It goes back to the right deck again. Yeah. And if you have a deck that need to be certain units in the drop zone, you won't be able to see it. Yes. Hmm. It's like, uh, well, Leon is putting more details. So ultimately, ultimately, the point is right. The right deck system is supposed to be supplementary. Yeah. It's supposed to be general. It's supposed to be a generalized set of cards that you write up to, but not. But it's a generalized uh, set of cards. It's not a specific set of cards for every situation. So sometimes yeah. in the situation that you're in, right, you might want to write to a different grade one or different grade two. The grade three can still be the ace for sure because that's why you're right, especially with the persona, with the persona right marker. But one, mm -hmm. two, and three, you still got you still got to play the field. So yeah, uh, there's a few cards that only work for right from hand skills. Correct. Correct. Uh, that's also another key thing as well. They definitely would have cards that say when when placed from hand. Uh, yes. So if you so if they come from the right deck, right, your your skills will not be able to fork off because that does not count as being written from hand. Mm. And I don't think they'll do anything about adding cards that have skills say when written from the right deck. Yep. Mm -hmm. Most likely, yes. Most likely. But what do you think, Dems, about the 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 persona right? I think it's a it's a good re uh, I won't say replacement, but more like a good um how should I say, like a good upgrade from the original uh, imaginary gift system. Because even though mm -hmm. that one that one is uh, that one is prevalent on all, like say all kinds of different units that has the marker, has the icon, uh, I feel that yep. certain, clans are, certain clans are benefiting from it way more than other clans do. Now, and, and I'm not talking about just from skills alone, I'm talking about just riding on its own. Um, certain clans are already getting more like way more advantage than than other clans. So with this being a generic thing, right? The post the persona right being a generic thing, I feel that uh it's it's a welcome change lah. I do like how simple it is and yet it's how effective it is. So I'm gonna stop the timer. There we go. Okay, yep. I'm just gonna leave the timer here. Yeah. I do like how um simple it is, but effective on say like um as long as your as long as your grid tree has that um thingy <laughs> the pers the personal right icon, you basically can yep. turn the tables of a game, and it's not just relying as like oh hand si your hand size too big, but um my next turn will be my my last. Not uh in this case it will be different already because you can have you actually can make a comeback. That's what I feel like with mm. the personal right system. Yes, sir. so I I do agree that that the personal right system being what it is right is actually a, a good system and not for have not for it to be limited to like say. Just Dragon Empire is actually across all of the the nations, also. Yeah. So having that even playing field, as you mentioned, also would be a great beneficial. And um, all the more that that this game right will be a mm -hmm. bit more welcoming, especially to new players, because uh, while while there are the veterans or the long time players of 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 Vanguard, right, they mm -hmm. still need to try and bring in a new audience, also, and to make something this accessible, especially for the start deck, is a really really good move, actually. So mechanic wise, I'm perfectly comfortable with with what Overdress has to offer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we, exactly. Uh, as we get closer into it, so which is about seven weeks more. <laughs> <laughs> almost there, almost there. Almost there, so. But but there's one thing that, that, that I think I should point out as well, because as I mentioned from my observation, I noticed that that um, that uh, Trickster only has 5k shields. Yeah. What do you think, what do you think that could mean, actually, Debs? Very likely... Very likely that um, very likely a trickster has a skill, but for that being a five k, and usually we don't play grid zeros in the deck except for the first vanguard. So for this to excuse me, for this to appear in the deck, right? I'm pretty sure it has some significance, not just in the law, but also in its skill itself. Like there's probably something that happens when you use it to guard or when you call or when something happens. That could mm -hmm. be very beneficial to Nirvana, for example. Uh, hold on, let me just gonna. I'm just gonna mute the channel a bit. Uh, just make some changes. Hold on. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll read off of what Leon said. Leon uh, okay. chimes in by saying that based on what I've heard so far, 
uh, Leon personally feels that the Persona Ride is just a step up to, to break writing to some extent. Yeah. And it does make running four copies of certain things even more important now, which is exceptionally a, a mood, uh, not, not mood, it's actually a, 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 a strong point actually, considering that yep. the rarities for the box releases are going to be all triple R's, triple R's only. Uh, yeah. The fact that they're all triple R's right, means that it's going to be a lot more easier to get them. So even though there's 10 triple R's in there, but hey, um, if there's one thing that we can trust with with the the box boosting, right, is that there is some level of consistency with the with the spread of it. So mm-hmm. you can definitely expect like like maybe like four boxes will be able to get at least one of each, or maybe even more. So yeah, exactly. It, By the way, uh, I put some music buying... inside so it doesn't make the whole thing very <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's good that you put some music inside because mm. otherwise it would be floating voices yep. in a non cafe setting. <laughs> no, this is not cafe. This is like dumb music. <laughs> LOL so but uh, yeah actually so um, thinking about it now right with the mm. with the boosting being all triple R's and more um, the fact that the Persona Right mark- the Persona Right markers are a thing and makes it much more viable for you to play at least the ace four of them uh, oh. it's actually yeah it actually translates well into like like what you can expect or how you can expect sales for the boxes will be so. yeah mm-hmm. I think the big mistake on uh, the mark, the imaginary gift system previously is also because of the fact that it's so hard to get the cards if you are not buying in cartons. Like even if you buy packs, right, there is no guarantee that you'll get the markers you need. And those are very important. Not just for aesthetic purposes, but also the fact that even though we can use pretty much anything that is distinguishable from the main deck, right, it still doesn't feel as um, official, you know what I mean? Like when yeah. you use counters to count our power, right, Instead of using that, we just use like maybe like coins or calls or dice for the matter. It doesn't feel like you're immersed into the game enough. So that was the problem with the with the imaginary gift cards. Like if they make it uh-huh. like make it such that it's something like it's something that you can buy uh, separately without having to worry about whether whether RNG will screw you over and give you like tons of imaginary cards that you don't need. Uh, at least for this one, right, Persona Riding, uh, it elim- eliminates the need of external materials, external resources, so you can focus mm-hmm. on the game from the get-go without any problems at all. Indeed, That's how I feel, so, yeah. Uh, Packs-wise, be... yeah lah, I mean, packs-wise, that will elim- eliminate that cost lah. Yeah, indeed also. Mm. But Leon says that we, but we also be expecting a slightly more more dead bills also. There is a potential thing that we could see dead bills as well, but but we have to see. But that's something that I think that would would really, uh, like show itself come the second box boosting or the, or whatever the next boosting is as well. Because mm. we will need to see how the follow up to the first box will be. That will really determine on whether we will see any slightly more dead bills as well, as, as as Leon points out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, personally, I hope that that isn't the case. I mean, there are gonna be there's gonna be meta cards, but there's there's also going to, but at least the cards that are not considered in the the meta rotation, right, will at least be be viable or like a, like like you know uh, mm. on the more fun or more playful side. Right? So it's not the best card that that you can play, but it's definitely like a strong secondary like that kind of logic. So yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just type in the after stream thoughts. Just put it up there a bit. <laughs> Game yeah. sans serif. There we go. But uh, premium be screen. wild, lol. Yeah, premium's gonna be ass wild. <laughs> <laughs> very, very much so. <laughs> very well. But but I I I've mentioned my takeaways. Is there anything that 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 uh that you take away from today's news? Uh, other than premium being wild as hell, I think uh, honestly, there isn't a lot to go about. Uh, when it comes to today's stream, because there, there's not a lot of information to go around. Yeah, it's, it wasn't as eventful as last yeah, week. Yeah, but I do like, like the said. addition. I mean, last week was because they are introducing a whole new era, so they needed more time. Uh, there's a lot more information to go about. But for this one, you're just yeah. going deeper, deeper into things, the new additions to the whole game. And I think Persona, just Persona Right itself, is already a very good, uh, very good addition in my opinion. And the fact yeah. that they do they do separate the right deck from Persona Riding is quite good as well in terms of the, the, the rulings so people don't abuse uh-huh. it and end up screwing everyone uh, screw up the entire game over which I think yep. they are finally taking a proper step in the right direction they tried it in V but somehow they tripped and then they just like said screw it and just fall flat on the face and just 
get dragged across the floor from there. But now they're finally getting back up and stepping in the right direction, I feel. So it may be not that soon, uh, but uh-huh. I think eventually we'll see in the long run how, how, th- how things play out. But I am pretty positive about this. And for me to be positive about about something like this, right, it's saying a lot. Uh, Leon, Leon says, did I miss the over stuff? No, not there really. was no over triggered. Yeah, it was just basically the same thing. There was no, yep. yeah, there was nothing at all. It's just, today is just, did. today's focus is just on Persona riding. Uh, today's focus, uh, or rather the news that came out today uh, mm-hmm. for Overdress was the, was the, the, the start deck and what you can expect inside the start deck, the, the deck list in there, as mm. well as uh, the Persona ride marker as well. Yeah, yeah, correct. So those were the, the, those were the, the, the news that came out from there. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's not much to go on for this week, which is this week is actually surprisingly short. Yeah, it is. It's quite short. Uh, but I think I, it's okay. I, I, I mean, it's okay, but I'm left wanting more. Oh yeah, but yeah I'm left yeah. wanting more. That's true. Uh, now, now there's like this uncurable itch that you have to scratch, <laughs> but you have to wait for a week to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Also. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it is kind of sad. Is there anything else that, that, that uh anyone? for this particular stream not so much but i am looking forward to maybe some deeper mechanics into the nations and how they'll play out in the future like will uh-huh. there be just one specific kind of playstyle or mechanic for each nation or is going to be just free for all like for example in dragon empire will there be elements from nubatama murakumo kagero tashikaze or even narukami you know like Put into see. one or like would they be separate or would they be together you know that's what I'm very no. interested in seeing I, I think they'll be together because I think what uh, I think what the idea was with the nations all combining together is that within this nation right you have mm. you have cards right that is more homage to to Kagero more homage to Nobatama more homage to Tachikaze yeah uh, yeah so the, the benefit of being all being within the, the nation itself right is that you can mm-hmm. take elements of this right put it together into a deck if you want to focus it on, like, say, a more Kagero style of play or more uh, Tachikaze style of play, right? You uh-huh. can do so with the, with the cards that are coming out. So, and even I think the 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 triple R's that are coming out, right? The quote unquote aces for each set mm-hmm. for each nation uh, will change, and it may be in homage more towards like a certain clan. So, yeah, I, I really hope they don't um, they don't f- like favor too much to a certain clan, and maybe put it in the more general way so that you know, there, there can be more play styles and I, I mean unfortunately you know card game companies they really have they already have like a certain clan that they want to boost it up because of protagonism <laughs> if that's even a word <laughs> but uh i do understand that and i'm open i'm completely okay with it but uh i really do hope that you know there's just still this faint hope within me that is hoping that the the card the power distribution everything is more spread out so that mm. so that um card deck builds can be way more diversified than it already was. Actually no. Uh-huh. Come to think of it, V V series didn't have a lot of diverse builds or anything about it. Much mm. less, right? What do you think? Uh I'm not sure actually. So but but in terms of oh, there's always gonna be that the 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 meta card or rather the, the, the card that defines the meta for for nation or for the entire game, so, mm-hmm. uh, but that's where I focus more towards the the other side, the non-competitive side, so because mm-hmm. uh, within the nation itself, right, there can be so many different flavors of the nation. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, so, so that one is something that's a bit more positive that I can look forward to. There will mm-hmm. be that one card that's going to be stronger compared to everything else for sure. For sure, has a has the best track record of that, if any, among any other card game. Yeah, speaking, yeah, yeah. So. All right, uh, Fletcher, but, like, yeah, uh, yeah. I, sorry. Uh, no, I, but I was going to say that, that, that if you look on the other side, right, it is a bit more positive. You, you can get a bit more positive vibe from looking at the other side of that. Yeah, uh, let, let's cheers hoping that things will get better for Overdress. Yeah. Anyway, Fletcher Lighty yeah, so. says, um, I had to tap off for a few minutes and miss the Persona right stuff. From what I gather, the, is the attack game permanent? Doesn't seem that a little busted because it makes hitting way harder for player to. Uh, yes, first of all, the, the the attack gain is permanent or more like it's a passive power gain for that turn when you when you Persona right. So whatever you call onto the front row will get the plus 10k. Um, it, okay, where, whether it's a little busted or not, it's kind of dependent because 
um, for player one, right, once they ride up to grade three, they actually have a lot of skills they can proc off already, and that could be disadvantageous for player two. So for player two to be able to wait, hold on. Yeah, no, no, okay, I get what you mean. I get no, what you mean. Now. Sorry, uh, it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I get what you mean now. Because the, the persona riding will be advantageous for player one instead. Because it's their turn first, ma. then they can ride up they can persona ride first. Uh, uh but I don't know, from what I feel right, I'm guessing that there will be quite a number of cards in this era will which will state that when your opponent's Vanguard is great three, something happens. So it still keeps the hand advantage when you're player one, but it also keeps another kind of advantage when you're player two. So that when when one player when the first player uh persona rides right, it wouldn't be as painful. That's how I feel. Like either by increasing your hand size or by depleting your opponent's hand size or whatsoever so that they have lesser things to work with. It really it's really very hard to say at the moment, but game flow wise I feel that it's still okay, I think. It's still Amazing. okay, but you're forgetting one important detail them from last week. What? Remember, I think the 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 first Vanguard skill has been changed, where uh-huh. uh, if you are the second player, you get to draw a card. Hmm. Yeah, that's yep. yeah, so yeah, yeah, that too. Yes. Uh, uh, so it's not busted, and I, I don't find that to be a little bit busted as well because while the first player, I didn't, didn't mention this, for the second player, right, to have that that card advantage compared to the first player means that the first player will get an advantage when he gets up to Greek tree. As that's mentioned, uh, so if the Greek tree has a skill that can that can proc out once it gets to the Greek tree, there'll be the advantage, and it's also the player right that will be able to take advantage of the Persona Blast. Oh, mm. uh, sorry, the Persona Right Master. I could be using Persona Blast, uh, <laughs> but yeah. That is the trade-off for the second player having that plus one card advantage. And that plus one card advantage, mm. right, could mean a lot to that second player, meaning that he could guarantee uh getting the the second grade tree that 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 he needs to, to perform the, the persona right. That could mean that he has uh you know uh, specific cards to be able to guard off uh when his opponent does the persona plus uh, persona right uh marker first. So mm. it's it evens out that way. So to say that it's busted, no. Busted is not really the word. In fact, I'd say that it's a bit more counterbalanced that way. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Ah. Anyways, I'm going through Twitter news right now because, <laughs> you know, everybody's okay. going to be talking about, about today's stream as well. Then uh, yeah. there's images of the the uh, of the start deck that's already out right there. I'm looking particularly at the Joyce Space Vanguard right now. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, there is only, just to confirm with you, there's only 16 triggers in there. One over trigger, yep. three fronts, four draws, four crits, and four hits. Ah, so the, ah, but the okay. ah, yeah, but the biggest thing, right? But the biggest thing here is that all the cards are actually coming back. Yeah, all the cards are actually the, coming back. All, so, Leon is I f- here. Hey, Leon's here. Hey, I feel that hey. over cards is no, not over. All the cards are a little underutilized in the V series. I'm, I'm really hoping that there'll be more that can work with in this one. I feel they came out late. They came out late. What's an order card? Yeah, you see, <laughs> t- that's the thing. That's the thing. They came out way too late. It wasn't properly introduced, and not every single client has it. Yes, this is what I. This is what I mean by 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 the order cards, right? Actually, or rather, them right introducing mechanics midway through the season, because yeah. it doesn't give the, the the card itself right enough wiggle room right to even be significant. As much as we like to say what are order cards as a joke, right? That's actually a serious statement as to mm-hmm. how. How late the, the the boost came out and how uh, underutilized that it has been. Exactly, of and it only it only works for certain archetypes as well, not even clans, but certain archetypes only, which just makes it even more limited than it's already it already is. And just see is even laughing. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Let, let okay. me just say something here. Okay, but firstly, the order cards, right? Uh, introducing it mid season is not the worst thing that could have happened. On Bushiro's list Yeah, so I feel it's not far. a huge issue. And um, the funny thing is, the really funny thing is that they they introduce it as a generic mechanic. Uh, exactly. See, yes. It, it, yeah. It's not. It's not that it was plan specific ever. It was supposed. It was generic, but it was stated in a way that only certain things uses it. Ah. Uh, I wouldn't go out and say archetype, but I'd rather just put it as like, it's it's like. It's like it's t- it tells you so bluntly who's gonna use this thing, but ah. don't say who. But yeah, exactly. I'm sure you know him very well. <laughs> you know, exactly. Right? Oh, that, that's what I meant by 
specific. Okay, maybe not archetype specific, but it's very obvious what can use it and what can't. Sorry, one yes. can use it and the others can't. So like for example, the most generic order cards that we have, right, are those that in they were in the Tri-3 Trial decks. Um, the Elixir, I think. Counterblast 2, one unit gets plus 20k, I think. Yeah, yeah, that one is generic now. That's still fine. You can use it. You can choose to use it or not. It's up to you. But for certain other cards, like say, I think it was the Sword of Light in Darkness or something for Majesty Lord Blaster or Messianic Lord Blaster. Then there's one for Dragonic Overlord. It's like, hmm, I wonder if I can use them in, I don't know, another archetype was there one for dragonic overlord i believe there was i think there was no there wasn't space yeah but no there, there wasn't one. space means that there is one but you don't use it anyway <laughs> i, I believe there was i remember reading I about it, it. Was it be because the more the the most prominent is it a color blast free soul blast free jaw tree I don't three. think I I'm not sure. Is it that, that's how I, I, that's how much I forgot about it. <laughs> I, I think I think you might be misremembering the unit because there is one specific order card that was built for Majesty Law Blaster. Yeah, that's yeah, the one yeah, I was yeah. talking about. Uh, the the sort of light and darkness. That, yeah, that, that, one that one is a uh, that one is a legend deck kind of thing. So I don't think it'd be fair to really put it as an like, example. I yeah. think the, the enough, more common enough. things easily would have just straight up been the Book of Knowledge, which is the one I just mentioned. Ah, like book, oh, okay, okay. Blastery, so that's for Blade Master. Yeah, it's uh, no, that was best used by Blade Master. Best it's user. Best used okay, best Blade used. Uh, okay, the, 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 the trick here, right, with the order cards and the way that they are promoting it, right, was that order cards right, are basically cards that can be used in any deck, but it, but as you pointed out, so it's best used with a specific deck. Yeah, it's too so, specific. Uh, <laughs> like, you uh, might as well just not use it anyway. Uh, yeah. like, like another one that was released also, it was uh, choose a circle, then unlock the card on on, on, on top of it, and have that some, then re-stand the unit. Mm. Uh, it's like, well, you won't use the unlock capabilities, you'll be using it with, for the re-standing capabilities also. But, but that one is a normal unit still. That is sort of like a card that you use to counteract Mega Colony. You know yeah, what I but mean? Yeah, but while the chance, like... Like I said, la, you can put that card in there to counter Mega Colony, but what are the chances of facing against Mega Colony in tournaments? That's also a very yeah, hard so thing that, to say. Yeah, so the card ends up being more of a, a side deck kind of, of, ah. of, of card. La. So, but at the same time, also, the, the point still stands. All the cards right, uh, didn't have a lot of time or didn't have a lot of uh, usage right, to make it uh, more universal. Uh, so while while it is a dig on on uh, how all cards has been been released so mm -hmm. far, but going into the the overdress and they're still using the order system, or rather order cards are still going to be in overdress. So that that might mean something like would they really take uh would they really take the order cards a lot more seriously? Uh, then uh, Ben they better do something about the which the the blitz order though because blitz order had never had anything else outside of the crit shield but even that we don't count it as an actual a uh, order card because it is technically a token or so to speak yeah because it's not something that's actually part of your deck and only the second player gets to have it. But but then again in overdress era they are eliminating quick shield altogether so I don't. Unless they come up with something new for Blitzkrieg, uh, Blitzkrieg, Blitz Order. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. there will yeah. be anything for it. Really. It's just normal order cards, really. Exactly. So that that makes it worse. And what's the point of introducing a mechanic that didn't get anything? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. So like, that's like just hoping like normal order. Yeah, but then this is this the uh, funny thing. Yeah. So what we've seen in the deck list for you use deck, right? I'm really hoping that there'll be more order cards in the other trial decks as well, so that we have more to work around with in the future, that or maybe even more in the, in the in the in uh, the booster packs. Uh, so it's I'll not just units, but you know, order cards as well. Yeah, order cards as well. So I'm hoping that they do different things as well, or mm. maybe even right, or maybe even right, these order cards are right, actually nation specific. Most likely, yes. Most likely. Uh, or well, at least generic enough that weapon. you can use it in other nations, yeah, but not but painfully it's like use, overpowered. Uh, but it's oh. best use. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't mind that being the legacy of order cards. Legacy of order cards being that oh, it's useful in other decks, but it's best use for this one. Mm. I don't mind that being its legacy. It, I just hope to see a, a like more like features for the order cards rather than just something that's a bit not here, not there. <laughs> yeah, not here, not there. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> 
I mean, so, so mm-hmm. if you really ask me about the order cards, right? I thought that their introduction um, could, could never be as bad as what they did to the G Guardians. Mm. If anything, because also. G Guardian was a lot was a lot more um, was more in your face than than the order cards were. Because the order cards were at least introduced as they are progressing through the season, so they are progressing through the uh, like the next. Like, uh, what do you call it? You're transitioning, you know. Uh-huh. That's where the order comes in. But G Guardian appeared literally at the last few episodes oh, of yeah, 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 yeah. Genix. And it was used and defeat the Q4 team by an ass pole. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The the and first time we saw that happen, that was like, huh? What? You had yeah. that? Nani? It was yeah, literally out of nowhere. Thought, yeah, it was it was just yeah, it came out of nowhere and it was so badly introduced. Uh, because at least when the order cards was introduced, I don't think it was actually played in the anime. Not that I remember. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. There wasn't. So it was kind of like an extra thing. So yeah. so you have it, you have it, don't have it. So it's not anything crucial actually. So mm. I feel that that's also but it's kind of like testing water. So I guess also kind of understand why they didn't really go into blitz order after looking what a normal order itself already get. Play, screw up certain things for certain people. Uh, yeah. But G Guardian, on the other hand, was a important mechanic that should have been introduced at the end of that season, like when it's when the new thing came in. Uh, but no, they just throw it at the last few episodes where it was supposed to be exciting and it's just killjoy because you know how the other two is gonna win their fight. Hmm. Exactly. Okay, that's, that's technically what happened. Mm-hmm. So. But you know, ask did I miss anything? You missed a lot if you ran out a bit earlier. So, but the main news that you need to take away from today is that the, we saw the the deck list for the start deck for you for you you start deck as well as the clarification of the 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 marker that's on the the Ace Dragon in that set, which is a persona which is a persona right marker. Yeah. Uh, yep. So, uh, okay. Uh, one thing that because uh, again I'm scrolling through through Twitter news right now. Uh, somebody brings up saying that so stand triggers won't be a thing anymore, XD. But here's the thing: the the start deck itself, right, showcased front triggers, but they didn't showcase stand triggers. Is it safe to say that they may have totally abandoned stand triggers? They may have. They may have abandoned stand triggers altogether. Cause I really, I don't know. What are you guys? What are you guys? Uh, I think it all stands from how people view stand triggers from the start. Like, what do you guys think about stand triggers when it was introduced and when it was phased out for in favor of front triggers? What do you guys think? Uh, I understand why it was phased out uh-huh. because uh, stand triggers were the most problematic trigger that, that that they've ever made since day one, actually. Because mm-hmm. not a lot of people played stands back in the day. So they, they tried to rectify that right, by incorporating stand triggers with skills uh, you know, like yeah, uh, for the GRS. Uh, encourage Angel. You know, all those. Are. So, uh-huh. um, yeah. So they tried to introduce that to to get players to step away from the trough pit in the bills to diversify their 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 trigger lineup even more. Yeah. And so, but what they ended up doing was that they ended up overkilling the sentry triggers because you know, Noxiel Loop, um, um, you Lisbeth. know, Lisbeth. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Lisbeth and all that so it ended up causing a lot more problems so yeah Raffles etc for, uh, for them not to bring stand triggers in overdress I think it's still okay because I think front has established itself well enough right that it is viable to mm. stick with fronts more so than, than bring back stand triggers and just keep stand triggers in the the, the premium format so. mm. now what do you think Okay, to me, right, uh, the elimination of sand triggers from the current format is a... It's kind of a good move, because considering what I we just heard about Persona, right? Mm-hmm. It, would yeah. be, it would be a shame if I ran total of 8 units with Persona rights and Hermes, and then I proceed to play 12 stands. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We you all know what's gonna happen. But at least there's yeah. one format. Yeah, yeah but, but you see, and then the worst part is that, and by this point, a lot of the centrigas, as Cat pointed out, would have free. Uh, they they are self-sustaining. Like one of my favorite is inspire you, and I abuse the living daylight out of that. 
And yeah. then we have other clans with at least eight cards with a similar ability, worse they can be fetched. Oh. And ha- it's not gonna be fun. Exactly. Harry went from a f- eight crit four draw. Uh, oh no, uh, he went from a rainbow deck, right, to a eight stand four crit deck. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's how powerful it's the stands were. Exactly. Yeah. That is a work of the enemy stand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why are there four of the starting grade zero? Sorry, just answer that. Uh, yeah, this is not the starter. Four tricksters, we, like we said, there could be. Oh, what? No, no, we'll get to that. So let, let, let's oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. So, um, well, uh, how should I put this? I lost my train of thought so never Let's just ask the starting I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so uh, no, no, sorry. The, question, the question was, right, uh, how do you feel about front triggers and whether if sent triggers might make them come back? Oh, oh yeah 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 okay stand mm. triggers will only appear in premium again that's for sure i don't mm. think at this point of time with the way that overdress has been introduced that trigger would be a good uh cut to be in the game because it will literally just rich quit then rich quit anybody i can remove everything from my deck and just play stand mm-hmm. and that yeah. will be that and that'll be fine because uh, plus 10k is not a joke and if a stand trigger plus 10k i tell you if you're playing aqua force if you're playing whatever in premium, it's got whatever happens in a standard, it's gonna affect very prominently in premium. Yep. One way or another. And usually mm. it's gonna go up and hardly ever goes down. And yeah, exactly. I don't think any it's like a runaway train. Absolutely. Yes. So like I'd the more the more yeah, the more yeah, the more mechanics they introduce, right? The more I get the more worried I become for premium. Because if that is the <laughs> go to for every single thing, I tell you uh Ooh, what's gonna happen then? Yeah, man? yeah. Re- embrace the chaos of premium, but not not that much, you know. Mm. It's like you know, yeah. you're, you're my friend, but you know, you're not my my. You, you're not somebody I'm seeing right now. So. <laughs> even even <laughs> evil has standards, are basically like okay, you can be evil, but not too evil. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, guys, just a, just a quick one uh, before we go on to the question. Was just imagine mm. I play that I play stand, with by the cross deck. Yep. Well away. Yeah. I think it's happening at some point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no need to cross. Just talk about the grid alone. Yeah, just the like... grid. Alone. Yeah, the grid. Yeah. Yeah. The grid turn about. <laughs> yeah, the grid turn about. Oh, the grid turn about. I think I made my point. Okay, so, <coughs> this is a question from Fletcher. So, uh, yeah, why are there four of the starting grid zero? So, there's an answer. Mm. The starting grid zero, right, is not Trickstar. The starting grid zero is the sunrise egg. Yeah, sunrise egg. Sunrise is it sunrise egg or something else? Like, yeah, you know, sunrise egg. Go I think. Sunrise egg. So that's the first vanguard. Trickster is actually a grid zero normal unit that you probably wouldn't want to use as your first. Vanguard. In fact, right, having four of those copies, right, means two things. One, that is the card. <clears throat> that is the grid zero right, that you put in your right deck because the right deck must have zero, one, two, and three. But then again, right, it also has a, a strong ability, which means like great zeros with abilities, right? It's gonna make a comeback. <sighs> That's all I can say. No, but, but, but better, I think so. At, le- at least, with, at least with the great zero, like having like proper skills, right? At least we won't see a whole bunch of of nonsensical great zeros like the one that we saw back in you know premium era. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, true, that's true. In the BTS. So, yeah, I mean, for them, right, to, especially since it's a fresh start, so they're mm. able to kind of like, like make sure that they control like what are the, the great zeros that comes out. Uh, what, what kind of great zeros actually comes out that's not, that's part of your right deck but not part of your, your, your start deck. So, yeah, I mean, that, that is indicative that, that we may see great zeros with viable enough skills that you will want to put in the deck. Yeah. Ink. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you guys think about about, about that? <coughs> um, well, yeah, uh, that's like a... No, you go first, you go first. It's okay. I'm still trying to think. Okay. Okay, so, uh, from what I feel, the trick stars itself, obviously, will play a very prominent role to your deck building standard. Uh, but I won't see it working out properly in premium because it's way too many factors to be in play. Um, the trick stuff probably is just a way to support the persona riding in its mm. own way rather um, instead of being a uh, that, okay like maybe I think it's just the way it's going to work out eventually because like you would definitely put one into your right deck from what I can understand you put one of that thing in your right deck 
And then the, mm. the other three will be you play uh, due to its ability. Like if let's say I'm the slow right this turn, I can this thing in my hand can something can happen, essentially. Yep. Because if I that as a start deck, everything in the start deck should revolve around the the introductory mechanic. Mm. Mm, yeah. So it will be no surprise that it only functions specifically when you first start, right? So it will maximize the deck as it is. Because if you tell me the deck is a is a it's gonna be a mechanic based on the function of functionality of just rewriting the same card over and over, but you don't have anything that supports that. Mm. It will be it will be strange. Mm, it will be yeah. very very strange. Yeah. Uh, it's not like. It's actually a legit break it's not like it was break right break right was kind of a it's, it's just leave it break but on right mm. uh, mm-hmm. however this is uh, something that you can speed forward faster by simply even if you're on two damage so yeah mm. yeah so i so definitely the trick star will play a very prominent role uh, for what is to come for the personal right mechanics in mm-hmm. general that's how i see it uh. yeah exactly mm. yeah so what do you think though I feel that I feel that um, yeah I, I feel that the uh, trickster oh, trickster is more of a support than anything see I, I can't imagine it being played in primers also to be honest it's more it's more supportive than anything like, it, it's there to in, it's probably there like the reason why it's even made into a mascot it's probably because not just how important it is but also how it will support the new mechanic like no, they mm. they always do that. Like they always have this one certain unit that supports the new mechanic to a T when they're introducing this kind of new stuff. That's mm. how I feel about Trickster's involvement, lah. Mm-hmm. And then they only give it a five T shield purely because in the case that you're not using it or out of emergency oh. food like a certain helm. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon yeah. is not emergency food. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's gonna be a meme, I'm sure, for that uh-huh. case too. Uh, it what, be, Trickster's uh, not emergency food? Oh, right. No, Trickster is not an emergen- uh, emergency uh, body shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because emergency it only shield. has 5 k shield. So, so I think the, the counter of that, right, is that the the these these grade 0 units with, with the good abilities are actually gonna only have 5 k shields. Yeah, right. most likely. Usually that is the case. Anything that has a really good skill in Vanguard has been shown quite prominently is that uh, <laughs> when a card has good skill, uh-huh. uh, it will have lower shield. Yeah. Uh, lower shield uh, power. It's la, very yeah. Andrew uh, <laughs> asked, who's that? <laughs> they want to know who was the Paimon. <laughs> yeah, who was the Paimon? Uh, if a card has good to low skill, then they will make it up with higher power or higher shield numbers. In this case, I don't think it's with two crits. They have lower power numbers. They have lower power because they don't have skills. Yeah. But they have 7k. But they have slightly higher shield and they have a default to fit on, on the point too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's more of those examples. But so obviously, one uh, is be the same for Trickstar. Uh, with Trickstar, he will definitely have a have a very good skill that supports the Persona right mechanics in general. Mm-hmm. And um, to and it will not have much power. Like, it's definitely not a card that you want to call to the back. Yeah, five mm. k five k power also. Like he he loses against a starting like that. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's six k or so, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have any other thoughts you wanna like like pose a question to us or maybe to to, to the viewers right now? Um, I'm actually I think this is more of a FAQ session. I have no I have no questions for that. Other than I think we should switch the next time for this. <laughs> I really couldn't see anything the entire time I was on the when I was at work and then I was getting on the car. I just can't see anything. <laughs> All right, maybe we should help uh, Leon clarify like 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 if they saw anything. Yeah, yeah. I did miss out yeah. quite a lot of things. So actually, I had to go and watch other people's stream or rewatch this whole thing. Mm. Uh, yeah, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, the main news that came out from uh, today's stream was the the showcase of what is in the start deck for you for you use a Dragon Empire deck, and also the fact that they addressed uh, the Persona right markers. Which, in case some of you, are, the Persona right markers, right? Uh, what happens is that when you when you write over the same unit that has the Persona right marker. Uh, all units in the front row, you get to draw one card, and all units in the front row get plus 10k. And that 10k, right, is not given to the unit itself, it's within the Vanguard itself. So the Vanguard will, will pump out a, a aura of, of 10k to the front row. 
so whatever units that weren't there before when when it when there's a unit there now that unit will get the plus 10k yeah yeah that that much uh def- at least i think that's i uh, didn't actually be saying anything like yeah. <laughs> All right, what was what was uh, all right, what was shown and also more tweeted earlier in English, and everybody has thanked him, and everyone else has thanked him. So oh yeah, he did, he did, he did. Yeah, yeah. He said, uh, he said the- he understands that there are a lot of English viewers, but the stream is made for Japanese. But, uh, they will, they they do realize the need to to make more content for in for English speaking audience. Yeah, I saw. I saw it too. Like it. Yes. What a chad. <laughs> <laughs> Mori is such a chad. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he, he is, it's nice that, 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 the, that the Japanese producer of, of Vanguard Rai is actually reaching out to the, the English community or English yeah. speaking community rather. So I'm really happy that there's this outreach as well. Mm-hmm. Makes, me, makes me appreciate uh, the people that are working behind Vanguard even more further, except for one person, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not I sure think. if. I'm not sure if they are. Um, I'm not sure if Mori Sang himself knows Japan, uh, knows English, but uh, he does. if he is right, damn, he's amazing. I like this no, guy he does already. Not, <laughs> yeah, he knows English, but he is of course uh, he's not native, uh, so so I think he's like taking classes and such. So, but yeah. he does know how to speak English. Be nice to your friends, please. That's what I say at the end of that show. Sasunaya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody's like that, so I appreciate I appreciate people like like Mori doing this as well. Yeah, it really is. We should follow uh, him. Uh, Hold on, let me let me yeah, follow him. Mori Keta. Hiya, hiya. Alright, we should we should retweet. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna retweet this his uh thingy. SCVGS or SCVGS? SCVGS, of course. Yes. Yeah, I just retweeted. Thanks for watching our show, that one. Be nice to new friends. Okay, okay, I'll leave it to so you. I'll leave it to you. I think before we end up, just want to uh, mention to those who are still here, tomorrow night we'll be... Uh, oh, I actually wanted to get to that, but yeah, I'll leave it to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, the question is uh, whether we're going to be playing, we're playing, we're playing for a remote fight, right? Okay, for tomorrow, right, there won't be a meet with Minecraft. We're pushing that to Friday uh, for those who uh-huh. are here. Uh, because uh, tomorrow we want to keep the hype up for Vanguard, so we'll be doing things Vanguard related. We'll be either we'll, we'll probably be doing either Vanguard EX or Remote Fight, webcam to webcam, or both. Uh, whichever, however things are, are allowed lah. Uh, more like, however things are more yeah. convenient for us, like more effective for uh, us. Things they are also. So yeah. you can expect some more Vanguard content for us. At least while uh, while we lead up to overdress, because all of us are, are pretty hyped for for the upcoming new hmm. era. Yeah, yeah. So we're definitely going to be doing some uh, more backup related content and while we apologize that we're not able to get any sort of new fights uh, done so far, again we've been working on logistics and such, but uh, this is one way that we can kind of like 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 make it up to you by having more streams of backup actually and as mentioned we probably do some backup EX or maybe even some remote backup as well. So be sure to, to, to tune in to us for any of our streams or any of our videos that come out and you can do that. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> but before that, before I go to that, um, if the odd, if the reception goes well for these Vanguard streams, we will be opening a remote fight out to the public as well, so that so you guys can join in in the remote fights too. So uh, yeah, let's let's make sure that uh, let's help each other and help everyone and help the stream grow, help the Vanguard stream grow, uh, get as hyped as we can because I believe the past week our viewership actually has increased exponentially due to Vanguard and I feel that that's the right direction for us uh, for us at CBGS so we definitely do more of this and uh, we hope to interact more with the audience as well with you guys as well so uh. you know so to get um, in order to do that <laughs> man I'm bad at segways all of a sudden yeah but uh, it, it'll be great that if you are if you're not subscribed to us please feel free to do so it's free <laughs> It's completely free, and you get. Uh, and if you ring the bell on the side too, if you ring a ding the bell, you'll be updated of all of our updates, be it polls, video schedules, or even stream schedules. Um, and they'll be all sent straight to your feed as a reminders. So uh, at the same time, we also have different socials as well. We've got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can follow all. Of, you can follow us on all the socials there, and we have a Discord server, so you can join us and talk to us off stream as well. 
Uh, we also hold like weekly Sunday night games. So if you want to play with us, just feel free to hop in. We will all have a great time together. And last yep. but not least, we also have a join van- uh, a join button. So if you want to be part of the CVGS membership uh, to get all sorts of cool um, cool content like shout out in videos, um, maybe, I don't know, more things along the way, uh, you can definitely do so there. Uh, just by clicking on the join button and selecting the perk, selecting the the level that you want to support us with, and you will immediately be a member of us. Yes, right, if you guys. want to support us directly, there'll be, there'll be one yes. way to do so. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like uh, when how Law actually, who is our uh, who who actually has uh, joined us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a part of our membership. Yeah, so yeah, thank you for 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 supporting us through there. So we hope to have your continued support through and through for you guys as well. The join button is down there, but most importantly, in order the best way to help us. Uh, at this time will be to like our button and subscribe ring the day in the bell so you can notify all our videos whenever they come out as well yep. uh, I'll look forward to more fights but please I forgot who mains Harry here but please read the abilities please <laughs> as a Harry fan the Harry vs Nairos match made me pull my hair off oops yeah that, <laughs> no that's that's just me because uh, I'm actually the main reason why I misplay or misread abilities is only because I'm actually very excited to play the deck myself like I remember I do remember the skills it's just that when excitement hits me, I tend to forget quite a bit of things. So, but oh, man. ultimately, <laughs> ultimately, it does not take away from the fight. So, I, I'm glad that you still enjoyed the the Rami Rumble fight. And even though we have misplaced here and there, what we can definitely guarantee is that you have a great time watching our our, our matches. Sure. On, honestly, I still feel that we should be we should be on point with the skills no, still at the end of the day. We, excitement or not, right? It still should not take away from the fact that we need to get the skills right. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking that. Uh, I'm not like reducing that. So that I know, but from the way you said it, it's like, oh, I, I know yeah. the skills, but because of excitement, I don't. It's like, huh? No, 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 I just wanna. No, I just wanna explain myself because I was the one. Because I'm always the one that's always missing my skills anyway. So. <laughs> well, not, not, not just you, actually. I actually do forget a few skills. So I just somehow I managed to... Okay, I either managed to, to play that off very well, like no one noticed, or the uh, decks I played, no one really cares. So thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> then it's just on me then. Because I do have my own times of uh, misreading my own text once in a while, but that's mm. quite rare actually for me. It yeah, is very rare. Very rare. Uh, it rarely happens. Sasana. Uh, in... in- in all the in, among all the videos that I've edited for Vanguard so far, right, mainly the the misplaced has come from my head. So. <laughs> yeah, so Cap needs to go and take a vocational lesson on Vanguard skill reading. Japanese Rever and Rever Grade One. I look forward to keep working with you. Yeah, even Andrew's like, yeah, like Harry could have won damage from that fight if it wasn't for the misplaced. Uh, it, no, not I was really. close. Very I, close. No, yeah. no, no. I very close. close. Mm. Whenever I misread the skills or not, right, I was very close. But I, I was just one damage shot. That's all. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Potato says you support us when she has the money. Thank you so much. Uh, don't don't stress us out too much. Uh, this is yeah. all just passion project after all. As much as we want to, um, be able to be able to earn a keep from doing what we love to do uh, at the same time we at the end of the day right our ultimate goal is to bring entertaining con- con- content to everyone here so don't stress yourself too much if you're unable to support just that alone is already support for us and we are very appreciative of that mm-hmm. mm. all right yeah, we i think you yeah. yeah okay Ke- i think kevin else has talked a lot already leon do you have anything to say <laughs> Yeah. No, I have nothing else to say. I mean, I already came up late because of work. Uh, I didn't expect the stream to end so early, like just one uh-huh. hour in. And uh, we already spoke about more than we than we have. I think tomorrow will be a good time to share the thought, uh, share more thoughts when we have processed most of the information. Yeah. Because right now we're on hype, so this thing may feel like overpowered or, or something or yeah. whatever. But after tomorrow, when we get a when our minds more fresh up, uh, we can we can be more rational about why what we can yeah more calm to process everything yeah I agree yep alright mm-hmm then again, yeah, then again, we don't really have a lot of um, news today that will like make that make us feel very excited, compared to last week yeah. at least. Yeah, compared to yeah, last week. The, yeah. The over the, the lack of over trigger disappoints. <laughs> not yet, well, not hopefully yet. We'll I, see, yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll should see be next week. Yeah, uh, no, week. they actually they actually did announce what was going to be revealed next week. So. 
Uh, I think oh. it's in one of the the things also. But we will keep you guys updated. We'll be back definitely next week. Uh, with another watch along as we watch along with the news for for Vanguard. So you can yep. be sure to find us again. That's awesome. Mm. Uh, yeah. There with that said, uh, I guess it is appropriate time to to end the stream. So so once again, thanks everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, to, for joining us, and yeah, we will we'll probably see you guys in the next video. Yep, we'll see you in the next watch along, and tomorrow as well. Tomorrow, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, we're gonna have to do something. I guess something. Yep. All right. Okay. See you guys. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.